Hello, welcome to my room. Today, I'm gonna be talking about how you can make money as a teen, whether during school, during your summer holidays, or even during your gap year. Right now, I am doing kind of a mini gap year, so I'm going to Australia, which has a completely different schedule. Since schools in Australia start in February, I have that kind of six month gap in between, which I am treating like a gap year. And during this kind of time, I've also been trying to make more money, getting more experience for my CV, and just making the most out of it. During my high school career, I've tried a lot of different experiences, so I just wanted to share them here because I wish that someone could tell me these things. So, let's begin. So number one is probably the most well-known and popular way that teenagers are making money nowadays and it is selling your clothes online. And I've been doing this for maybe I'd say three to four years already and honestly it is a really really great way to make money as a teen because first of all you get to clean out your closet once in a while and you know as teenagers we're always just trying to figure out our own style and trying a lot of stuff from trends and stuff especially like from tiktok and social media so we've got a lot of stuff so being able to sell them is really great so you get to clean out your closet you get to make money from it and it's really flexible since i did this during school when i still had like a bunch of homework <laughs> can't relate i was able to fit that into my schedule and it was not a problem i would do it on weekends or meet up after school and just like check that store shop once in a while when i did have free time and just like work at my own pace so so how to sell your clothes now there are multiple apps and ways that you can sell your clothes and get a kind of audience I've been on carousel for three years already and I just love the platform because it is just an app for people to sell their things their secondhand things like the markets already there so it's like no you don't have to you know do hashtags and you know trying to build up a following because anyone can go on this app and you know find what they're looking for and they're only there to you know either buy or sell so that's why i really like these kinds of apps uh, other apps like carousel include poshmark depop um i think mercari i i've heard of that i think that's still a thing i'm not sure um you can also sell on instagram which i did for maybe a year and a half um when i first began because i thought it was easier and i knew how to use instagram i would find people more my age but the thing is with Instagram, since people are not on Instagram to specifically buy things, you do have to build a following and you also have to deal with um, particular people and all types of people are on Instagram. So sometimes it gets a little bit messy. Um, some people don't really know how this whole thing works. So it can be kind of frustrating to be on Instagram and selling clothes. So. By all means, you can totally start on Instagram because it is a pretty easy and comfortable app. But if you really want to, you know, do this for a longer time and do it more professionally, you know, then I recommend going on these apps. And once you build your audience for your secondhand shop, I usually go thrifting and look for pieces that i can make money off of i usually buy branded things and then reselling them for a higher price and that is how i can make quite a lot of money because people are willing to pay for unique branded pieces so that's a great way to go about it when you do get bigger but when you are just starting out i would recommend just selling the things that you have in your closet all right, next. All right, the second way that you can make money as a teen is freelance jobs and gigs. I started doing this like quite recently. So what you essentially do is you take your skills that you have. It could be photography, Photoshop, video editing, writing, using your skills to be able to make money. And you do this through 
um, freelancing. If you didn't know, it's just like you're not employed basically, but you're still getting jobs. And you do these maybe like one-off jobs and they'll ask you to maybe like, oh, you can help me edit a photo or you can you know, help me edit a video and then they'll pay you for your hours or maybe a set fee, you know? Um, and you can do this through a Facebook group. In Hong Kong, there's a Facebook group called um, Hong Kong Teen Part-Times and people post either jobs or their details. I usually look through it and just see what kind of jobs there are. If there are jobs like, oh, I need help with um, Photoshop or I need help with videography, then I will contact them on Facebook and just be like, hey, I am Emma, I do blah, 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 and then send them maybe like just some details about your skills, which school you went to, your maybe your CV. Sometimes I do send them my CV and that's just, how I do it. it. I don't particularly do this a lot, but it has earned me a couple of, you know, this change here and there. Um, so by all means, just do it. It's easy and it's flexible as well. I also make cakes as kind of a freelancing job, so I'm freelance baking. People contact me on my Facebook page. I have a Facebook page called MS Cakes, and they will ask me like, oh, what flavors do you have? What price? I want to uh, place an order for like November, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, and it is so fun. I love doing it. It really helps me with my organizational skills and also allows me to do something that I love doing and to make money off of it. Um, there's also a website called Fiverr. I don't know, post some jobs that you can offer doesn't hurt it's free you know i've got some jobs on there that people can just look at and just contact me so i have done photoshop jobs for jewelry brands that are you know independent and um need some cheap labor some good good cheap labor uh to do really simple jobs yeah i think it's a great way to network and use your skills for something you know? number three it's kind of similar to selling your clothes, but it's more broad. So um, number three is creating your own brand. Now, I've done this during my little gap year, so um, I have quite a lot of experience doing this. So creating a brand is not as daunting as it may seem. Basically what I mean is that you can start your own shop and you can sell products that you make or that you just have lying around i don't know usually i would recommend selling things that you make because the materials are low cost and you turn these kind of raw materials into something of value and so there is a higher profit and since we're all students here we don't have a lot of money to just like you know slash around things that you can sell or create a brand from jewelry hats clothing, artwork, anything. Anything really handmade is what I would recommend. So during my gap year, I have created a brand called Whack Gems. Shameless plug. I make jewelry. I make earrings. I make necklaces. I made these necklaces actually. It is a brand and it is on Instagram. So how I would recommend is making an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and just start posting just post consistently and also use the instagram ads i have bought two of those ads and they really do work they got me a ton of followers and a ton of um, traffic on my page highly recommend if you're just starting out to use the ads because it will boost your brand super quickly and lastly babysitting or tutoring Tutoring is a huge thing in Hong Kong. A lot of students do it. I started babysitting after high school, so during my summer break, I got my babysitting job through Facebook, the same group, Hong Kong Team Part-Time. I'm sure you can find a Facebook group for your area, for your neighborhood, I'm not sure. Um, or you can just ask around and see if anyone needs help. Yeah, I just wrote down my name, my age, school that I went to, my grades, what I offered, um, why I would be a great tutor slash babysitter, you know, just like 
hype yourself up and people will contact you from there. I find it really enjoyable because you do get to be organized. It's a really great way to make larger amounts of money because of all the hours that you could do. I do three hours a week, so that earns around like 700 Hong Kong dollars a session. I used to do like two different families, but now I'm sticking to one because I have quite a lot on my plate with uni coming up quite soon and I want to spend more time with my friends and family and be more flexible with like extra jobs. So yeah, I do tutoring too. It's really easy because kids just want to learn a language or very basic things. I usually just sit down with them and read a book, talk to them about their weekends. So that is everything I have to offer at the moment. So thanks for watching and get out of my room. Thank you.